Hi, Phyllis here from southernfrugal.com. This morning I thought we would just kind of go around and look at some old cotton fields back home. And Mr. Bucky's going to be the driver. Say hello. Hey. All right. All right, the first thing we're going to look at is uh, in town here we've got um, uh, a place where they bring the cotton in to be, what do they do to that cotton? Be baled. You know, Calhoun County is number one in the state on baled cotton. It is. Okay, well, I didn't even know that. All right, so we're going to get out now. The wind's blowing a little bit, but maybe that'll be okay. And look at some of the cotton that's uh, waiting to be what? Not to baled? Be baled this is also a gin over here. Okay, it's also a cotton gin. I thought it was. This is another one. Now, the, one, the cotton gin we saw in our walks is not this one. It's another one. But anyway, we're going to go over here and look at this. All right, there's the other cotton gin. And, um, this is cotton that's waiting in line. That might be y'all's clothes right there. You know, so they're waiting in line to be uh, ginned and bailed. I'm not sure how all that procedure looks, but I mean how it works. But anyway, there it is. A bunch of it waiting in line. Here's our uh, tractor dealership. That's Blanchard Equipment owns that. And that's all a John Deere dealership. Because we've got a lot of farmland in this county. All right, we're going to go look at a cotton field that hadn't been harvested yet. Okay, I wanted to give you all a quick picture of this older home. Isn't that beautiful? Looking through the trees and the, on these uh, pecan trees right there, you can see some resurrection ferns growing right over the limb there. Anyway, this is, I, I'm not sure if this is the back or the front side, but we're going to go around to the other side and see if we can get a better picture of it. Anyway, this looks like something right out of Gone with the Wind, doesn't it? All right, we're going to be back in a minute. Okay, this was the front of the house. I wasn't really sure. There's someone here a minute ago. I think there's someone here doing some work. Anyway, someone does live in this house. Look at that porch. See that uh, ceiling of the porch painted blue? They did that because they said that stopped wasps from building nests because the wasps thought it was the sky. Interesting, huh? Anyway, look at those columns. Isn't this gorgeous? All right, they've got a little work to still do on the yard, it looks like. We're going to walk all around. It's a really, really big house. Look at the chimneys. I'd say this was built probably the turn of the century or maybe a little earlier. Lots of porches. Yeah, that was the front of the house. It's facing what was the railroad track, and there's some sasanquin growing right beside the step. More sasanquin. Yeah, they, they look like they've done a lot of renovating, but they really haven't renovated the yard. Here's an old magnolia growing. Actually, it doesn't look like it's that old. It's not that big anyway. Yeah, that was the front of the house, and it's looking down towards the railroad tracks, and right down below the hill there, there used to be a railroad station. All right, we'll, we're going on to the cotton fields now. Okay, we're at a very large cotton field now, and I don't know if you can see or not. Yeah, they're baling, I mean, they're uh, harvesting that cotton way over yonder. Let's see if I can get up high enough that you can see. Anyway, let's have a look at one of these little cotton balls. Now, the, the, um, the harvester has already come through here. See, they got, oh, of course, all those seeds are in there. There's some real cotton right off the vine. There's what they've already baled in this field. I guess that guy's taking a break over there. Anyway, there comes the tractor. He's probably wondering what I'm doing out here. I was hoping to get a picture of this field before they uh, harvested all this cotton. And they might come through again and harvest again, but I'm not sure about that. We're going to go see if we can find a field that hasn't been harvested yet. All right, there he comes. He's going to probably come over here and say, what are you doing in my field? All right, we'll be back. All right, we got a uh, cyclist. Yeah, it's clear. Go, 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 go. All right, I think we got some more cyclists on up here. What the, the uh, cyclists do is they start in Columbia and make a great big loop. So they've got probably 30 miles one way and 
30 miles back around to get back to Columbia. They like to ride out through here. This is somewhat of a scenic highway. Now here's some more cyclists. They usually are in a group all together. But I noticed today half of them went over across the Congaree River and the others all came this way. Roll my window up. Yeah, there they are. your horn and wave at this guy. Yeah, they concentrate. We, those guys who ride these bikes are older guys. I'd say they were in their 50s, maybe even their 60s. And some older ladies too. So I don't know if this is some kind of marathon race or just what this is. But anyway, if you can see through our really dirty windshield, there's another one. Okay, I'd say his age was about 65. So I don't know what they're doing. I wouldn't have nerve enough to do that, but I'm sure those guys are healthy and I didn't, I noticed not a single one of them was fat. All right, we're going to another cotton field that hopefully has not been harvested yet. Okay, we're coming on more cyclists now. They did kind of cause a little bit of a traffic problem sometimes on these two-lane roads, but you can definitely see this guy. Yeah, he's on a different bike. <laughs> Anyway, they all met up down there at City Hall, which we just got a little rinky dink City Hall, but that's where they were all earlier, so now they've spread out. All right, going on to the cotton field. Here's another group of them, all older men, all smiling. <laughs> all right, we're gonna go down to City Hall and see if there's a bunch of them still there. Okay, we're gonna go over and see if we can't talk to some of these cyclists. I can't believe their age. Can y'all talk to me on a YouTube channel? Y'all are cyclists. I saw y'all all over. Tell me about what group are y'all with? Yes, the group's called Festivalo. Uh -huh. So a, some, a family out of Charleston. Oh, really? That have organized rides, and they've been doing it for like 10 years. And, and they, they've had it in several different locations, and you know they'll stay in one location for about three years. Uh -huh. and this year they're based out in Santee. In Santee, so, so how two hundred riders? How far do y'all ride? There's a choice between thirty miles, sixty miles, or hundred miles each day. Oh wow! I am so impressed because all of y'all are older except for this one right here. She's not older. <laughs> there are a lot. You're not really riding, right? The yes, helmet's just for sure. Yeah, Gonna oh, you gonna, gonna try? Don't put that on tape. Then I have oh, to come in. Oh wow! All right. So what? Uh, so what's the average age? Ooh. I don't know. I don't know the average age. And that is what? Twenty-five. Who's a big? <laughs> she's she's really not telling the truth, I don't think, right? Are you the youngest? Are you the youngest one? Probably not. I'm 30. There's a big, there's a big range I noticed. We're 60. Yeah. There's a good range of people. 60. We're 60. My friend yeah. back there's 29. Yeah. Oh, she's the youngest. Though. Yeah. I, I saw a few that were older than us. Yeah. Yeah. I saw them too. I, that's yeah. why I was astonished. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. Like so, so one guy I noticed was on a three-wheel type thing. Uh-huh. Yeah. And that's good. Y'all have those little flashers in the back. So that people can see. Yeah, that's great. Uh, all right. Yeah, I gotta She's, go. All right, all right. Um, these these people are very busy. They do not have time to talk. They've got to go. We will see y'all later. We're going uh, we're going to look at some cotton fields in Calhoun County. Have y'all noticed those? Oh, we've, we've been in the cotton field. It's a beautiful, you've been in the cotton field. Yeah. So. All right, all right, we see We had our picture taken right in the middle of one. Uh-oh, okay. <laughs> all right. All right, see ya. This is the watering station for them. Hi. And they're having lunch today at um, Ferry, Matthews Ferry Road. Oh, right? okay, yeah, all right. So they're 20 miles between here and, and lunch today. Yeah, they're going to need a lot of calories, right? <laughs> yep, uh -huh. yep. People are surprised, chefs are surprised they come and work with us about what kind of food and how much food a yeah, pack of bicycles yeah. will. Yeah, I see all those bananas there, good potassium. Yeah. All right, all right, well y'all welcome to St. Matthews. Well, thank you, we're happy to be here. All right. All right, y'all, this is the best cotton field we could find that hadn't been harvested yet. They are working night and day harvesting all this cotton because I think we're getting ready to have some rain. So these fields right here are white to the harvest. Let me see if I can go up a little bit closer there. Yeah, 
see all that right ready to be harvested now this little thing right here and don't quote me on this but this is a little thing that catches I think boll weevils or some kind of bug I think it's boll weevil and they put a, 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 a something a hormone in there or something that attracts the uh, males and uh, anyway I think that's what that is I'm not very knowledgeable on that but you see all these always in the uh, cotton fields all right we're gonna go up close now y'all remember the movie uh, I think it's called uh, the one with Sally Fields and uh, um, Danny Glover about the cotton and they were actually picking the cotton and the uh, cotton plants were still uh, green well that's not the way they do it all right let's look at one of these right here now I want to show you all something let's see if I can get it out there's a seed in here hold on and we'll use my other hand okay see that that's a cotton seed so when you read on the back of your uh, cake mixes or whatever any kind of uh, uh, a lot of goods from the grocery store like rolls and stuff you're going to see cotton seed oil comes from that seed right there and I think each of these has four seeds in it they're really hard seeds too anyway there's the only field we could find that hadn't been harvested yet and these uh, haven't opened up yet yeah see that one's getting ready to open up but anyway we're getting ready to have rain up fronts coming through so we've got these uh, people harvesting these fields till all hours of the night all right we will see y'all next time unless we run across something more interesting on the way home this is a big deal here but we've got much bigger fields throughout the county we raise a lot a lot of cotton here now next year in this field they'll probably raise corn or soybean all right see you next time